Belgium's Prime Minister has waded into a row over free speech after police in Brussels tried to shut down an international conference of right-wing conservatives. Yesterday, the National Conservatism Conference found itself besieged by Brussels' bobbies after a local mayor ordered it to be shut down with immediate effect for supposedly endangering public safety. Belgium's Premier, Alexander de Croo, defended the conference, saying that while municipal autonomy was a cornerstone of Belgium's democracy, it could never overrule the Belgian constitution, guaranteeing the freedom of speech. The two-day event, which had already been relocated twice, featured keynote speeches from Nigel Farage, Suella Braverman and Tory MP Miriam Cates, who was apparently forced to smuggle herself in via a side entrance wearing a headscarf in order to give her speech on the dangers social media poses to young children. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is... It's crazy that... that essentially, the, this Belgian mayor has just deplatformed people he doesn't want to hear speak, which is what we complain about happening in colleges and universities up and down the country. However, the fact that Cruella Braverman, who wanted to silence, <laughs> <laughs> silence the protesters in London from their freedom of speech and say, I don't like what they're saying and I don't think they should be allowed to be on the streets. Now, someone else in authority is trying to silence her. That's what's happening. And there's, there, 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 is, there, is, there, is, there is some shout of Freud in that. Extraordinary analysis. analysis. <laughs> I mean... You'll, Join me you, after the break for more. So, I mean, come on. You come can't on. equivocate on. political figures who are elected speaking, who've been invited to speak there, In with people form. who are actively putting uh, uh, Taliban, ISIS signs, hate these sort of, sort of hate elements. Not everyone, not, every, not everyone of the marches is doing not that. Not everyone is, but there are strong hate elements in it, and it's about controlling that. that, that, that is a, there's a very big difference. But look, we have this in, in Britain. You know, you've got these groups, so-called hope not hate and led by donkeys, trying to cancel yes. GB News. Whether you like it or not, they're entitled, people are entitled to their opinion to, to express it. And you've got groups trying to stop advertisers um, giving revenue to, to this channel to shut it down, to shut down speech. So this is just an extension of this, this war that's been, this uh, political war that's been played but out it's an, uh, it's in a... Britain, in Europe. I mean, this... Uh... This, I'd love to meet this mayor in Belgium. I mean, he'd be a great interview, wouldn't he? Because you just want to say to him, well, just explain your logic, because there's a huge own goal in this. The country's own prime minister Massively. essentially saying within a second, yeah. you know, this is ridiculous. You know, who would do this? Even left-wingers I've spoken to have said, look, you know, I don't agree with Farage, but you, to, to stop a, a, a conference to mid... or to try a to stop a conference mid... A bunch of cops. I mean, it's just... It's just a ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It is such a spectacular... You know, we've been... Recently, I had to write a piece about cancel culture, and I was researching all the different examples. You know, whether it was um, a politician or a comedian or a campaigner, everyone from Tatchell to Jenny Murray have, at some point, been deplatformed. Um, this is now the go-to example of it. This has yeah. brought the whole story into one well, that's sharp, wanted... focused example. It's so, of it's nuttery. so perfect. Are we sure it wasn't some sort of? Are we sure they weren't actors? Are we sure that you know, <laughs> Nigel Farage didn't orchestrate this himself? Because it is such. Is the a mayor perfect related example. to Nigel yes. somewhere? <laughs> Do us a Do favor. Us a favor. Yeah, Cancel get, it. Get, get me onto the front pages because everyone will lap this up. <laughs> Just it seems too juicy. It's to be tailor too made true. for Nigel Farage yeah. to get attention. Correct. I mean, and he's capitalised it. I mean, he's given. Given him oxygen, that he, you know, of the, the mayor. It's a massive own goal for for the mayor. But I do, I do fear for free speech. We've I got do. all these Absolutely. hate laws. We've got the next government, the Labour government, yeah. want to introduce blasphemy laws yeah. about um, Islamophobia. There's, there seems to be a new law to, to, to try and clamp down on anything that you say. Yeah. You know, and and actually most of it is angled at people with centre-right opinions. Yeah, I mean, I, I do worry in the run-up to the next election what will happen at events. You know, it's already been quite hard on occasion for Reform UK to get venues. You know, venues will host a, an event or a rally for reform um, and then they come under massive pressure from organisations, I'm not saying it's necessarily hope, not hate, but that type of thing, who ring up the, the managers and the owners of the property and say, are you sure you really want this? There's going to be trouble, you know, and wind them up and wind them up, and before you know it, you've lost your venue. And that is extraordinary, uh, very insidious, very expensive, and makes it particularly hard to have open debate.
And actually, on a wider point about you know, politics and elections, you know, there are rumblings now about the amount of money that different political parties can spend in an election, yeah. you know, which obviously brings back the amount of money they spend does bring them a lot of publicity. And you know, they've it's been raised. Was it from 19 million to 36 million, almost doubled? And a lot of people are saying that then puts smaller parties like Reform yeah. or the Lib Dems or the Greens or whoever at a massive disadvantage because they don't have those multi-millionaire yeah, well, donors. I mean, but it's already the case. I mean, I've written about this. Reform had donations of about, I think, 1.3 million um, over the last um, year or so, relative to 38 million or something in that region for the Tories and about 35 for Labour. Yeah. So, you know, small parties have to work really, really hard with a bunch of small, very, very committed people, no. um, not those who are bunging in multi-million pound donations in the hope of a peerage. But it's yeah. still, that's still a diff that's still about um, political funding and electioneering. That's a different issue from freedom of speech. It is a different speech. issue. This is fundamentally a, a yes. freedom, freedom of speech it, issue. It's a different issue, but, but it, does, it, it relates to how loud your voice can be. Yes. You know, it, 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 different Absolutely. things are, make, are, are making your voice Yeah, more. so yeah. If you can't, it usually doesn't cost a huge amount to host a rally, but it does cost a huge amount to absolutely flood Facebook and all the social media yeah. platforms with you, your You, you, with your you say that, but Trump is the exact example of not needing huge amounts of money but by just being such a... Crazy but every character. time he, he gets so much free attention. Every time he gets arrested, he gets another fifty million in donations. Well, that's it. So yeah. doing I repeat, have to get arrested. Yeah.